back with another short quick video so these are all personal armor system for ground troops helmets otherwise known as PASGIT um, these are developed in the late, late half of the 1970s and uh, put into service in the early 1980s first combat usage was 1983 it's uh, made of a Arabic uh, Arabic uh, Aramid Kevlar material and then uh, it comes in four five sizes comes in extra small a small a medium a large and an extra large and then the second number is the mold it was manufactured in and this number is your date and then they're all marked in the back with uh the manufacturer telling it's a pasgate helmet uh the national stock number and the contract number for uh, your suspension inside of it it has this riddle type webbing with a loop in the center that you can adjust with this little velcro piece right here and then a two-point chin strap now this two-point chin strap became a problem for the airborne because when uh in testing they determined that this helmet wasn't very stable when you were jumping out of an airplane and it could possibly fall off and a four pound helmet falling from 1200 feet of an airplane probably isn't the best of ideas so what they did was they developed two things for parachutists to use. So this would be your standard infantry setup, albeit you'd have a cover and probably a band. Otherwise, this is perfectly adequate for the infantry. Still unstable, but it's not going to hurt anyone. What they did for the airborne was added the straps in the back, which I'll show you how they're used, and they added this pad in the back. So this pad prevents the back brim of the helmet from hitting the back of your neck. It's a nape pad basically prevents it from injuring you and these pads are extremely rare there's two variants there's one that has a little square like this and there's one that this tab right here is like that much wider and it's a different color uh, these pads are really hard to get i spent months looking for this one now these straps are a lot easier to get and what they basically do is they turn this helmet into a three-point chin strap instead of two because what you do is you take these straps you unvelcro them You loop it around this chin strap, and then you Velcro it again. So when you're wearing the helmet, these go towards the back of your head and keep that helmet a lot more stable. Now the way these pads and uh, straps are installed is pretty simple. So around the back of the Pazgit helmet, it has a screw right here, and then this screw holds in the suspension. It has six screws that go all the way around the side of the helmet. And then there's two more that hold on the chin strap. Well, basically what they did was they took out this screw, it provided you with a longer one. And the best way to describe it would be to show you the manual. If I can get it out. Towards the back of the manual. It shows you how to install this. So you have your longer screw that goes through the back of the helmet. Then you take this parachutist retention strap right here and feed the eyelet of that onto the screw. And then you take this trapezoid shaped foam nape pad, parachutist pad, and you put that, the screw, through the little slot in this. And then you take the suspension webbing, push it through the slot, and then put the A-nut through suspension webbing, which you can see here. And then if I lift that up, you can see that the webbing goes behind it, and there's an A-nut in there. It's a pretty smart solution. It's not exactly probably the best solution, but it worked. Um, for more little information on this helmet, this one was made by Gentex in... It's kind of hard to see it, but it's marked 1983 right there. Um, it's also a 1983 contracted helmet. You can't see it because the pad's in the way. Um, this helmet right here was also made... Oh, no, this one's made by Devil's Lake. Uh, this one's made by Devil's Lake with a 1983 contract, and it was produced in 1984. And then this last one, which I just recently got was made by Gentex, and it was manufactured, it doesn't give a specific year, it just says 84 slash 85 right there. 
and it was also contracted in 1983. These are all size large. Um, if you see an extra large, they're really rare. But yeah, and this is the manual for it. And then on the back of the manual, there's a little tab that you fill out if it gets hit. And you send it back to Natick Labs so they can improve the helmet. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say on a parachutist's Pazgit helmet. Uh, these are covered in dog hair now, so I'll have to get a lint roller. But that's the problem of having three dogs. Oh well.